Shoigu's failure in Africa makes Putin blush. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu is in big trouble. The head of the Kremlin, Vladimir Putin, has serious claims to him because of Africa. This was reported by the Russian Vichik OGPU, Telegram channel which is connected with the Russian security services. One of the most sensitive for the state failures of Sergei Shoigu as Defense Minister is the African Corps project, the resource reported. According to it, Shoigu was tasked with strengthening Russia's military presence in Africa through Russian private military companies. He failed to cope with it. The core eagerly awaited by many local leaders actually existed only on paper, and the colossal budgets allocated to its realization went into the pocket of Novatech head Gennady Timchenko and functionaries of the Ministry of Defense affiliated with him, the Russian Telegram channel said. He specified that a number of dictators in Africa were very happy to get Russian at their disposal. However, when trying to put it on paper, they got bogged down in bureaucratic costs. The highest authorities had to blush for the African core because the contingent was promised, but in the end it did not materialize. As a result of the actions of Timchenko and various managers in the Russian Defense Ministry who brought the country to the point where it almost lost a key region for itself, while significantly weakening its previously gained positions, the Russian resource reported, recently Vladimir Putin met with Tula Oblast governor and known Wagner Group affiliate Alexei Dumin, further indicating that Putin may be seeking to reduce Sergei Shoigu's power by balancing him with rivals. Putin likely deliberately publicized his meeting with Dumin following the high-profile arrest of Russian Deputy Defense Minister Timur Ivanov on the 24th of April. The Russians' sneaky tactics. The Times learned important details about the strikes on Kharkiv. Russia has recently intensified attacks against Kharkiv using missiles, glide bombs and drones to destroy energy infrastructure and kill civilians. So a full-scale war is ongoing in Ukraine and Kharkiv, which is located just over 20 kilometers from the border with the Russian Federation, is often under attack, including from Russian Shahed-type kamikaze drones. The enemy is conducting a disinformation campaign aimed at teams of sappers who are supposed to neutralize the Shaheds, the warhead of which did not explode, writes the British newspaper The Times. The officer of the sapper group, 28-year-old Captain Maxim Tomko, said that the sappers are in constant tension. We never know whether the unexploded suicide drone we are trying to disarm exploded due to a malfunction or because the Russians set it up to kill our sappers. As they claim on their television programs and telegram posts, the warrior said. Journalists noted that Kharkiv is protected from drones by machine gun units traveling in pickup trucks. According to them, over the course of the year, Ukrainian defenders shot down from 30 to 50 enemy killer drones that attacked the regional center. As we adapted our tactics, so did the Russians adapt theirs. If earlier Shahed drones flew against us in a straight line at an altitude of less than a kilometer, now they fly at an altitude of almost two kilometers. Without proper air defense, it is becoming increasingly difficult to shoot them down, said the commander of the 302nd Anti-Aircraft Brigade, Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Kozlov. The occupiers have already hit the regional center many times with drones and missiles, there are many casualties, injuries and destruction. In addition, the Russian Federation is dispersing information about an alleged attack on Kharkiv and the capture of the city. In Ukraine, they called it an information psychological operation. 